Hi, I'm David. Welcome to another episode of Changing Times. Our guest is Alfie Hinks, owner of Seascope Maritime Training. Please enjoy and stay safe. Hi Alfie, how's everything going? Uh, hi David, how are you? Yeah, everything sort of, we're trying to get sort of get the foundations back to normality now and obviously beginning to sort of get out into the industry now and, and uh, start to recoup some uh, training within the industry. So it's been hard, it's been yeah. difficult and I'm sure it's been, that's been the answer for everyone. Yeah, indeed. And so tell, tell us and tell everyone that's watching, what is your business? What do you do? Okay, uh, we are uh, Seascope Maritime Training. Um, we we actually been operating now for about 14 years, um, and basically uh, we've we've been into the shipping industry, uh, delivering uh, the, the the training necessary to to uh, sorry about that to um, deliver uh, opportunities for people working on cruise ships, ferries, uh, and obviously uh, we we do super yacht training, the same training people want to go and work on these super yachts uh, for the mega rich. Yeah. Um, so basically uh, that's that's our core business. Um, we, we've been operating for 13 years as, as we said and we oh, this is our coming into our 12 month now uh, where we are in Fazakli. We are on the um, Cottage homes. I don't know whether you've heard of that, and people might know that in exactly the clock tower. Um, it's an absolute uh, lovely place to be, actually. And um, we we moved in here 12 months ago, and we took over the swimming pool. So we're adapting the swimming pool to for our pool work facility or oh, wow. to do sea training and stuff in there. So it's all exciting times until the lockdown. Well, that's it. And talking about the lockdown and pandemic and everything, how has that affected? The business and um, with everything that going at a standstill. Yeah, I, I mean, unfortunately for us, we were first to be hit. If that makes sense, and uh, when you, if you think back to when it was all beginning to unfold and uh, before the lockdown and the, the weeks commencing to that, we actually seen um, uh, news reports uh, of cruise ships having uh, uh, outbreaks of uh, COVID nineteen and basically uh, being quarantined and uh, it. it it, it sort of rolled on within that ship side of the shipping industry, yeah. um, and then the cruise ships sort of took that decision earlier earlier on to to cancel all cruises and to get people off. And you know we heard of P and O uh, being I think they had about uh, 12, 13 deaths on on board the ship uh, through COVID. So it was a tragic time, and and for us as a, an industry, it's it took a massive massive hit in terms of that. And obviously, when the lockdown, obviously the lockdown. As, as tough effect, uh, no passenger ships are operating, uh, ferries are only operating freight services. Um, so it has been a has been a, a massive impact to us. Yeah, have you been able to adapt the business, or has it simply just stopped for yourselves? Uh, it has just basically stopped. I mean, obviously we've we've we're getting back into the swing of it now. Um, and we've we've analysed we've analysed over the last week or so through our clients and stuff that we work with, uh, and the yachting industry, the super yacht industry is now picking up. Um, they're they're eager to sort of get back to uh, normality. Yeah. Um, so we've been working and talking to some of the super yacht um, uh, managers and uh, super yacht companies that manage the vessels on behalf of the owners and stuff. So um, it, there is there is a bit of normality coming back, and you know it, for for anyone watching this. Um, it's a good time to go on the yachts now uh, because you've got the pan with the pandemic going obviously global. Uh, two thirds of, of that side of the industry have uh, have uh, people from New Zealand, Australia, or uh, South Africa. Um, then, then people are not possible to reach Europe at the moment. So uh, they're actually they're actually a fair bit of jobs going there at the moment. So we're we're sort of tapping into that now, and the people looking to who are getting jobs on yachts. Uh, but we've also got we've also got people uh, within the uh, wind farm industries and, and the other uh, commodity industries uh, that are look that need their courses now. And with the shipping industry being a key a key sector, uh, with everyone within that industry being key workers, then obviously 
um, we've worked closely with the Maritime Coast Guard Agency, who are our governing body, um, to to prepare to, to to get back into this now. Have you had to change the way it's run now because of the the pandemic and COVID? Or uh, yeah, we've we. I mean, what we've put into place um, is we've put in uh, if if the students when the students come in, um, there's a COVID nineteen risk assessment that we've had to do, um, so. It's all about social distancing. It's all about uh, minimum numbers or the maximum numbers in classrooms. We've had to we've had to at least half that straight away. So, so obviously we're protecting everybody, um, including ourselves. So we've had to sort of uh, adapt to that and you know put the relevant uh, procedures in place, like to uh, you know the uh, alcohol stations everywhere and coming out the toilets and masks on when when you're when we're close to each other and gloves and stuff so it, it's it's had a it's had an effect that way because obviously we we're not teaching half the amount of what we normally would do so it has had an impact on that but uh, it will it will begin to get us out of this and back to normality do you think it'll ever go back to the way it was with the way the industry was and the way it was just go gun how do you think it's going to be a lot more cautious I think the will. I think the will, David. And and if you take a look at the cruise ship industry, uh, if you analyse that, then that's that's the biggest. That's the the poses the biggest problem of getting uh, uh, public confidence back into people to to go back on a cruise. Now, I think once this is under control, and you know we've got the vaccines and we've got everything else uh, in the future uh, put into place, uh, then I think. I think the confidence will be there and you know the great British public uh, they like a, a bargain and <laughs> uh, get yourself a vaccine and, and you know you, you've got the likes of P&O, Cunard, uh, Royal Caribbean, Carnival, you've got all these companies which will start heavily uh, marketing uh, that industry soon. And the biggest market that they're going to get is you know come and, come and have a Caribbean cruise for two weeks for 450 quid. You know that's, that's not a bad price that to, wow. to to, to build build confidence back into the general public again. So have you been able to reflect on on the business and have you made new plans, new services, worked on the business while everything's been on the on the back burner and stuff? Well, I mean, I mean, the first I think the first month or so, the first six weeks, we actually we did nothing um, because obviously we were we were under uh, severe lockdown. Well, yeah. We hope it was severe lockdown, but I think um, we had to put a uh, we had to have an eye on on progress that we that we were making before the lockdown, and we prepared sort of I mean certainly for the swimming pool, yeah. um, we were we were steaming ahead with the swimming pool, getting it renovated, getting it getting it ready, and getting it out there for for, for our business, and um, so we sort of we sort of. Uh, perpetuated the the motion of, of getting that back into into normality with workers coming in uh, on their own. They've been they were on they're on their own. They're doing their own thing. So you know there's no one there around them to to social distance. So we've prepared that way. But I think all in all, um, there hasn't there, there won't be a great change to us. It'll just be marketing us uh, back into back into the shipping companies in the industry again of what we do. Um, so for anyone that wants to get involved in your business and, and take advantage of what what you do, how can they do that? What can they do? Because obviously it, you, you offer a lot more than a shipping. Yeah, I mean, ours is, ours is dealing with human beings on board, on board ships. So, you know, our, our training uh, centres around people wanting to pursue a career at sea. And, and, I do believe, and I strongly believe that in the. Sh I think it'll be a shorter term, uh, other than longer, that the industry will get back to uh, normality. And you know, we live in an island. Ninety-six percent of all goods that travel through this, through this, into this country is shipped in. So there is, there is, there is the, the, the will be, the, there will be the demand there, um, and hopefully we can get back to normal. And you know, it's, it's anyone that's listening to this interview that uh, wants to. A change of career because you know at the moment uh, the tragedy of all this is is, is one is the deaths that's that's been uh, we've had with it uh, and secondly is the so is the economic impact yeah. and 
you know, people will be looking for to change their careers now, and they'll be looking to say, well, you know, two million people, two million people are on the dole at the moment, which is a serious uh, concern, um, and they're saying that it set, could set to grow with uh, an economic recession. Um, but you know, we the, the the advantage to us is is this: it, the shipping industry has been always been undersold in this country. You know, we we had a merchant navy years ago where your you would know your auntie or your uncle or your granddad or your grandmother or anyone uh, went away to sea uh, if you were from Liverpool. Um, and we've been trying to bang that drum and, and promote that for, for some years. Um, but the the advantage to that is what my point is 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 the fact that uh, there is opportunities. The opportunities will come here, and they will they will be here. Um, Hopefully sooner rather than later. So, you know, people who are looking for a change, you know, have a look at the shipping industry to see whether uh, you could be one of them working on cruise ships, yachts, or, or ferries, or even the wind farms. Massive, the massive uh, uh, generation of wind farms that have took place, certainly in the Irish Sea, which we have the uh, the, the the biggest wind farm uh, location in Western Europe. So, um, with that comes job opportunities. No, I took that. Brilliant. So, can you take any positives from the pandemic and lockdown at all from it, or is it all? Uh, I think we can. I think uh, we've got to be positive. I mean, you can't go into business being negative because it's not it's not worth going and being in business for. So, I mean, the positive that we've took is, you know, we're still we're still going to uh, plough on with with our our plans for opening the pool and. And with that comes our approval to do training for, for the wind farms as well, other than the Merchant Navy training. And the positives is, is that we strongly believe that uh, the shipping industry will will bounce back sooner rather than later. And, um, you know, you've, you've got all these industries saying that you know, it's going to take 12 months, it can take nine months. Yeah. I think we strongly believe that um, that could bounce back a lot, a lot quicker. Um, because you've got, you know, you've got experts out, world experts, uh, commercial expert out there that's going to be working tirelessly with the shipping industry and cruise industry and stuff like that. So, I think the positives is is that we could bounce back a lot quicker than than some industries. Yeah. So, what organisations have you worked for, and who do you work for? Uh, in terms, well, uh, obviously, Cisco for my company. Um, so, I mean, organisations we work with a lot of shipping companies, and we work very, very closely with them, and. Um, you know the the main ferry operators around the UK. We do training for them, and the and the cruise ship cruise ship companies we work closely. Um, organisations obviously is is the uh, Maritime Coast Guard Agency, which we work, we've been working very very closely yeah. with uh, over these past weeks to to make it happen for us to sort of uh, get trading again. And um, and you know we we'll <clears throat> we'll work with anyone. Uh, we'll work with anyone, and we'll help anyone. Uh, that's looking in the industry, whether to be uh, their people to be trained or or people want to be trained to to change the career. Do you find that the industry have got closer with with everyone then working for themselves? Because obviously, I would imagine with the shipping, it's a it's a big thing on communication, making sure yeah. the logistics and everything is all in place. Do you yeah. feel sure in this time that everyone's come together more yeah i think so i think um you know since this since this pandemic and the lockdown took place we we i've had a, a weekly zoom meetings with uh the merchant navy training boards uh which the merchant navy training board uh, is based in london and they're they're linked into all the shipping companies and we've been able to sort of gather up, gather our thoughts together and and you know come up with some ideas of coming out of this and stuff and you know we've took away some of the ideas um, of of coming out, so I think so. I think um, you know it, it's it's made us a lot closer in a lot closer industry, and it's a niche industry as as it is anyway. Um, but to be able to have tapped in over the the, the months past uh, to shipping companies and, and directly speak to them and, and gain ideas, yet yeah, we have. I think we you know your question is quite valuable, valid in terms of um, you know we have been close. We, so where can people find you? How can they look look you up? And okay, um, well, obviously, if you uh, go onto our website, which is www.cscopemaritimetraining.co.uk, uh, we're on Facebook, Cscope Maritime Training. Um, 
um, and basically you can you can surf our our website and the Facebook and you can see the opportunities and the jobs that we've got. I mean, we're proud. We're a, a proud company to say that um, over the past 13 years, we've we've put in or, or we've given uh, over 3,000 jobs into the uh, city region, uh, the Merseyside area and, and beyond. So, you know, we for a small company that can say that we, we've, yeah. we've offered 3,000 jobs to or we've given 3,000 jobs to um, over the past three years is, is a massive statement and we're proud to say that. No, it's a big achievement and, a, and a, the economy needs that, don't the people need Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And I think they need the smaller companies like ourselves, you know, the bigger industries, uh, the likes of Fords and stuff like that, that'll, they'll, I'm sure they'll, they'll chain out and they'll look after themselves. But, you know, the, the bread and butter of, of how we survive and the small companies and, and the other small companies that you, you are uh, talking to all the time, and, you know, it's a massive, massive um, uh, achievement to, to get these people back to normal and, and get the economy going uh, and contribute yeah. It is indeed, and I want to thank you, Alfie, for your time and, and being a part of Changing Times. And no, th thank you, David. It's been a pleasure. No, it's it's been really interesting, and if anyone wants to look into into yourself, we'll have all your details, and and we'll put it out, out there. And thank you so much again, David. Thank you for the and uh, hope to see it again.